So I honestly have no idea what today is going to hold, but I know I'm going to get stuff done because I always get stuff done. Good morning. It is 7.52. I woke up around 6 o'clock. I, so far, I set up my water so that I can make my distilled water. And I also watched a video for Aaron on Demand. Uh, I've, this whole month of July, I've been watching one of her videos every morning just so that I can, you know, get some time in about creating my business and making better YouTube videos and just, you know, building my skill and craft in that area. Uh, today is Saturday and on Saturdays I have free flowing days. Well, most of my days are a bit free flowing, but today is even more free free flowing in that I only like do hour tasks and then I do like other things on the off hours. turn off the water but every three months I throw away my toothbrush so I just threw my toothbrush away and hmm, I think I have another one I have a sustainable toothbrush now it is a bamboo stick toothbrush yeah so this is my new toothbrush and I need to clean my little cover Got some peroxide for that. Uh, you know, just pour a little peroxide into there. Y'all see that? That is like bacteria. Y'all see that bubbling? I'm trying to think. I did this experiment with my undergraduate students when I used to TA. And I think that the bacteria that bubble up i think like can't remember now oh man see when you don't use it you lose it but there's a certain type of bacteria that peroxide kills on site and i used to know like how it affects the bacteria cell wall and why it kills the bacteria i think these like what bubbles up is called catalase positive Oh man, I least I want to go back to like my information from when I was teaching undergrads and figure this out. But yeah, you see fresh. Coming to right at my desk. I absolutely love my journaling time. It is a space and time for me to just reflect on the week, um, 
think about what my next plans are or where I would like to go. Just really ground myself. Um, I've been uh, thinking that maybe this is not like a one day thing. Like I may start journaling like every day. Um, I know that there's like the such thing as pages where some people will journal for five minutes every day just to get everything out of their minds. Um, I don't know, I may start like a nightly journaling practice just to write out how my evening, my day went and how my evening is going to go. But um, in my hour, like hour of doing things, hour of not doing things, uh, I have to get up in between every hour. So because I was just sitting here for this past hour writing, I think that I am now going to get up and... Okay, so yeah, so I let that cool for about an hour and uh, my water is almost done distilling. Y'all can see that right there, but um, I am making my version of hummus. So I put a little bit of olive oil. Um, I use the liquid that's in the, that I used to boil the chickpeas in. I put a little bit of that in here. And then I just scooped in some chickpeas to the max on y'all. I don't do good with recipes. I just eyeball everything. And you know, if it looks good, it'll come out right. So I'm putting in some toasted sesame seed that's like how like I'm trying to get the like the tahini because tahini is brown sesame seed so I just pour it in I don't know I would say that's about a tablespoon y'all can see that I don't want to pour out my stuff but about a tablespoon of it and then I'm going to add in some chili powder You know, once again, it's just to taste, baby. Add in some cumin. I had already put in some salt, so we're not gonna put in no more of that. And I'm not a big fan of cumin, though. I like I realized that cumin adds the, like you know that flavor, that Indian. So I do put it in there, but I don't put a whole lot. Uh, some chili powder. Once again, not a whole lot of that either. You heard that? It just finished. Uh, and some cardamom. A little bit, not a whole lot. Um, and I have some paprika, but oh, maybe I already add, did. I already add the paprika, y'all. I don't know. It's all right. We're gonna add a little more. I like paprika. Not too sure. Maybe I added that first. Regardless, add a little more paprika. It don't do too much to it. And I'm also going to add, so I've made this hummus before and I did not put any turmeric in it. But, I don't know. Put some turmeric in it. I don't even know if real hummus has turmeric in it. So, I'm just going to try this out. I didn't put a whole lot because turmeric be having stuff smell earthy. Not just smell earthy, but like taste earthy too. Like it just came out the ground kind of earthy. And so I'm going to go a little light on that. A clove of garlic. Mm, I don't want a huge clove. I'm going to add a small clove of garlic. So mm, y'all see this? About this size. Small clove. Oh. And I dropped it. At Lord, y'all see, I got the butter fingers today. I need to cut my nails. Mm, I may do that later. Maybe, maybe not. And uh, I do want to add a little bit of onion. Throw that in there. And it's about the same size as the garlic. So, we in now. Like, swim well. Pull out my little blend tool. Ooh, I need to go do 
some type of yoga stretch because my back just pops. Ugh. I mean, I need to do some some stretching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tighten it up. Put it on. See, I might need to add a couple more chickpeas. I don't know if I'm yeah, see that's too loose. See how loose that is? I did put a good amount of the liquid in there. So I'm gonna put in I mean, uh, yeah, I did put a good amount of it. So I'm gonna put in some more chickpeas to thicken it up some more. I guess if I had some chickpea flour, oh I should have made my chickpea flour first. Because I also like making chickpea flour, but it's okay. It smells good, though. Like, thankfully. I just need to thicken it up some. Because I'm not going to add no cornstarch to this. Like, I mean, that's like a common thickener that people use is cornstarch, but we're not doing that. Let's see. I think it may thicken up with time to maybe. Oh, no. Yeah, that's thicker. That is quite thicker. Already got some more pretzels here. So I'm gonna do a quick taste. Quick taste test. Taste the garlic. Hmm. Yeah, the garlic is really heavy. Maybe I should just should have used garlic seasoning, but. I feel like I could have used more um, like paprika and cumin. Uh, I gotta wash dishes. So yeah, after I wash these dishes and clean up the kitchen, I am going to write up my post for the day. It's 1023 now, so I have about 30 minutes to get this kitchen together and get it in order. But also, but also I'm going to say that this is not like a race or anything, so I'm not pressed to get this stuff done in 30 minutes. You know, it's just a goal. I would like to. But if it doesn't happen... Baby, it is all right. Because I also want to make some chickpea salad. Because I still got uh, some chickpeas left over. But I need to wash dishes so that I can have a container for my chickpea salad. Or, yeah, I need to wash dishes. So, here we go. And my friend Brandon gave me this little cute little try thing. I think it's like for dips and stuff. But I like to eat popcorn, chocolate, and oranges while I watch movies. Y'all, the combination works for me. And so I got a little space for popcorn, a little space for my chocolate, and a little space for my oranges. Because normally I just pile them into a bowl and we just get it how we get it. But this makes me feel love fancy and I can carry it around like this.
I'm going to put the link to the video where I show y'all how to make chickpea salad in the comment in the description box and I'm gonna put the card up there. working on my blog post and I actually just got two other ideas um, while writing that one so I'm two months ahead of the game maybe it's yeah it's 12 12 but I have yet to eat but then also I'm not really all that hungry so I think I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl in a little bit actually I might make one right now so this hour might be my eating hour because I want to do some uh, energy releasing yoga and uh, in doing the energy releasing yoga <laughs> it always happens like five minutes into it I feel like dang I'm hungry I should have ate some before I did this so I'm gonna eat something before I do it but Oh, I missed them again. It, I'm so I was sitting down this low because there was a chipmunk. I'm pretty sure that he packed his mouth and brought food to his family, which is in my front yard. Essentially, he put a hole right there. So like literally right there. And it, clearly, I guess he trying to hide because he didn't cover it, but um, he put the hole right there and he lives him and his family live right underneath that stand but I don't know I'm, th I'm thinking they might live over here too all of this is the dirt that the um, the animal kicked out the chipmunk kicked out to bury over here so yeah but my flowers they they are right some of them looking good, some of them looking a little bit dry. It's okay, it's been a real hot summer. And then like this one is blooming. These are starting to bloom. Yeah. Let's redo everything and then we're gonna pick something up. We're using our hip flexors. So it's a very um, worked muscle. The other piece is that the psoas is called a fight or flight. And so what that means is that when we are So y'all, I definitely um, dropped the ball on recording the rest of today, but it wasn't really too much I did after I did the um, yoga, the meditation yoga. Um, now I am having dinner. It is 5.37. I... I did like look through some emails though so I try not to respond to emails on the weekends I just look at them and then I just put them down and I'll come back to them later and I did I do anything else oh and I also did some work on my website that I have no idea when it's going to be finished but did some work for their website and so for dinner I am having a plant-based burger 
you know, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, onion. I'm sorry, no lettuce, but tomato, ketchup, onion. Um, and I think this is the Beyond Meat. I'm not buying it anymore. I bought it from Sam's. They had a sale on it. But I think I'm going to just stick to my black bean burgers because they're more natural. Uh, and then, of course, you know, I got my home fries. I love making my french fries. And then um, my glass of Sauvignon Blanc. I realized that I like white wines like this. It's good. Yeah. So that's all I got for you. I'm probably going to go and watch a movie. And call it a night. I may see if I can like update, update or add more images to my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't or follow Gratified Grad on Instagram. So thanks for watching this far to the end of the video. Make sure that you like the video, you subscribe to the channel so that you can get all of the notifications and join the crew that graduates with gratification. And you know, share this video with someone else if you think it would be helpful to them. Bye.